So hi, here is Intergeo TV from Intergeo 2022 in Essen and I'm really happy that I'm right now able to introduce you to a new person here at Intergeo but he's really important and we are curious to get to know more to know about him and uh, yeah, he is the recently appointed Vice President of Trimble's Survey and Geospatial Division. It's Scott Crozer. Good morning, Scott. Good morning, Denise. How are you? <laughs> Thank you. I'm really good and I'm happy that you're here because, um, yeah, I just heard it's your first intergeo. It sure is. My, yeah, my first intergeo. Um, after spending 20 years in construction, I now okay. get a taste of uh, real technology here at the intergeo. That's perfect. You're also familiar with the construction sector, with BIM, with the technologies behind it. And it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of the base of Intergeo when we talk about BIM, building information modeling. So we're really happy that you're joining yeah. us here. Thank you. So, uh, Scott, um, yeah. So you just started with your new role for uh, surveying and um, the mapping division at Trimble. Um, tell us about your new role, how you came there, how did you find uh, your new position there? Okay, so um, I guess it, it all happened rather quickly <laughs> and, and I, it, it wasn't necessarily intended. Ron Bizio, who was running this uh, in the past, mm -hmm. I know he's very familiar yeah. with Intergeo. Um, he has taken on our transportation sector um, at Trimble and uh, so he needed someone to come in and help him out uh, run the survey mapping business. Uh, so I do report into Ron still, and he gives me my mentorship and guidance, make sure I continue the strategy uh, and the execution that he'd had in place for some time. So I'm looking forward to learning uh, a new industry. Uh, I'm looking forward to the, the, the new business and, and continuing the success. So welcome to the family. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> yeah. So um, did you get some impressions? I know it's the second day of yep. Intergeo, but maybe you had the chance to see the booths, to see the technologies and innovations presented here. What's your impression of Intergeo? My, my first impression was really the buzz of just the people around again, that the excitement in the people. I don't know if that's because maybe it's been some time since they've been at a conference or a trade show, um, but, but definitely their, their, their passion for the technology is like nothing I'd seen before. Um, the new advancements that we're bringing out, um, plenty of new innovations actually right throughout. As I walk through the buildings here, a number of new innovations, particularly in the, in the mobile mapping, scanning and, and, and point cloud management. Um, uh, I guess, areas of technology. Mm -hmm. New peoples bring new ideas, bring fresh ideas. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so what are your ideas or visions you want to implement in the future within the next years within your section for, uh, in Trimble? As, as a mechanical engineer, I'm passionate about technology. I want to make sure we continue the innovations um, and bringing them uh, you know, step by step to the market. Um, I also see an opportunity here, really the, the next wave. Um, we've done the, the connecting of the digital and physical worlds. I see the next opportunity is actually merging these digital and physical worlds. Mm -hmm. um, so, so really that's the mobile mapping. It's, it's this concept of the industrial metaverse, um, mm -hmm. really making the point cloud and mobile mapping uh, information easier for people to consume. So mm -hmm. if we can achieve that, I, th I think we'll have some success. Yeah, these are really important technologies from Trimble and uh, yeah, they will also shape the future in important issues such as urban uh, growth or climate change, what is also the topic of the international press conference of Intergeo today, we'll talk about climate change. So yeah, what are the issues and technologies you bring with you to solve these problems? Well, I think I mean, we, we have a number of technologies. Um, that we're looking at first. So you're talking about um, sustainability and, and what Trimble's doing on that front. Um, Trimble takes it seriously, obviously. Um, we, we have a, a, a guide, um, environmental sustainability government, government's guide that we put out there. Um, and it's it's well versed throughout, um, throughout Trimble. Um, and we are implementing that uh, through the divisions, um, but with a big, a big focus really on um, efficiencies and workflows. So as we focus on the vertical workflows through construction, natural resources, uh, renewable energy, um, really looking to put our technology to use in those areas uh, to, to really find ways to improve the, the carbon emissions. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So, um, and when we look at Intergeo, Intergeo is an international platform, and uh, yeah, Trimble also is interested in international markets, yes. also to the Europe market. So, yes. how important is it in your strategy? Uh, the international markets for Trimble are enormous. A, a large portion of our business actually comes from the international markets, and what we see is, is regions um, like Europe, particularly uh, the Nordic regions, they are 
potentially years ahead in the adoption of, of, of some of the innovations and technology. It really helps us fine tune um, our, our advanced technologies as we, we bring them to a more usable state so we can um, provide them to the rest of the world. Mm, that's cool. And uh, well, if you look into the future, where we already talked about the yeah. future and what we will bring, what you will bring to the company. But if we look into the future, and if you could make three best wishes, so new technologies, new innovations—I don't know, batteries, <laughs> power banks, or whatever. What, what do you think do we need, or what will be the next transformation? Well, I, I guess. Um, But big data is becoming a thing, right? But big data brings problems. Okay, and so yeah. management of the big data, whether it's uh, cloud compute power, um, so bringing... Clouds, energy. Yeah, yeah, bringing, the, so. br bringing, um, uh, bringing efficiency to management of large, uh, large data sets. Um, artificial intelligence so that we can interpret and, and, and you know, with the labor constraints, bring leverage uh, artificial intelligence to try and take place of... Uh, Uh, work that's happening with the, uh, today by people, but, but eventually we need to uh, manage that through the uh, manage the labour shortage. Uh, and I would say, uh, obviously, being connected and, and high bandwidths of connectivity, um, so that we can get that data uh, into the cloud from the field more efficiently, and then provide the insights back into the field to, to optimize uh, the workflows that's happening out in the field. Yeah, and also the, all these autonomous trends, autonomous, um, the, the, the little dog with the sensors on it, then we have the drones, and we have little vehicles driving here. They're all autonomous and uh, collecting yep. data. And, uh, that, that's right, yeah, yeah, the <laughs> autonomy is becoming a big thing, right? Yeah, you know, we're all we, walking and flying. Yeah. And, uh, But we, we can augment crazy. people in the field in many it's, ways, and, and uh, what, what we see actually is that the geospatial professionals or specialists, they will be spending more time analyzing and, and, and uh, managing managing the data instead of out in the field collecting the data um, as we bring in these autonomous technologies. Great. So Scott Crozier, thank you very much for joining us, for being part here of the Intergeo family. And uh, yeah, we wish you good luck and hope to see you soon again. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure and uh, my first of many, hopefully. <laughs> we will, of course. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.